Today's material is over finite limits. And to help me introduce this material, let me go ahead and start with a real life example here. So this says, when X percent of a company's plant capacity is being used, the total cost is C, hundred dollars, given by this equation here, X squared minus 48X minus 100, all over X minus 50. So in this instance, we want to figure out how much is it going to cost when 20% of our plant's capacity is being used, 80%, and 50%. So to simplify this, we use our college algebra methods, and we take this 20, and we plug it in for x every place in our equation, because 20 represents how much percentage we are running that plant capacity at at that specific time. So in example one, we just plug in 20. C of 20 is equal to 20 squared minus 48 times 20 minus 100, all over 20 minus 50. The bottom's really easy. Of course, that gives us negative 30. The top simplifies to be negative 660. And if we divide that by negative 30, that gives us positive 22. Now, this is in hundreds of dollars, so I add a couple of zeros at the end. So it's going to cost us $2,200 to run our plant at 20% of its capacity. In example two, we do the exact same thing. We take our 80% and we plug it into each x in our equation. So C of 80 gives us 80 squared minus 48 times 80 minus 100 over 80 minus 50. The top simplifies to be 2,460. If we divide that by the bottom of 30, we get 82. So if we run our plant capacity at 80%, we have to spend $8,200 because, again, our cost is in hundreds of dollars. So let's see how much it's going to cost when we run our plant capacity at 50%. Again, we plug in 50 into our equation. 50 squared minus 48 times 50 minus 100 on the top over 50 minus 50 on the bottom. Now, I'm not even going to simplify the top because I know the bottom simplifies to be 0. And I know that I cannot divide anything by 0. So C of 50 is actually undefined. Well, if this is a real life example, what does that actually mean? Does that mean we cannot run our plant capacity at 50%? I have to run it at 49.99% or, or something very close but not actually 50%? And if so, why not at 50%? So this is why we have to introduce limits. What we just did on this slide is functions. We plugged in 20%, 80%, and 50% into our functions. And we see that our functions here don't always work out the way that we expect them to. But we still have to be able to run this plant at 50% capacity, and it still has to tell us how much it's going to cost at that thing. So that's why we have to introduce limits. Now, there is some confusion because functions and limits most of the time are exactly the same thing. Only in certain situations when problems arise with functions, such as this example here, is when limits are in fact different than functions. So, to give you a head start on this, you can always think about functions and limits being the same thing other than when there's a problem coming about. Now we have to figure out how much this plant is going to cost to actually run it at a 50% capacity. So, to help us figure out how to do it without actually doing limits right away, we can estimate the answers by using the table here. So, what we do is we plug in numbers close to 50 from the left, meaning as x is approaching 50 from the left-hand side, and also close to 50 from the right, meaning as x is approaches 50 from the right-hand side, and then we want to figure out what that answer is going to be. So hopefully the, uh, these arrows here point to the same number, and we can fill in what this question mark is, so we can figure out how much it's going to cost us to run our plant capacity at 50%. 
So let's plug in 49.5 into our equation. And of course, we just substituted in. This is like doing the exact same thing as functions here. 49.5 squared minus 48 times 49.5 minus 100 over 49.5 minus 50. And when we simplify this, that's what I'm going to fill in the blank here. So I'm going to use my calculator on this, and I'm going to fill in all these boxes. And I suggest that you pause the video, you fill in the boxes first on your own, and see if you can figure out what this number here is in fact supposed to be, so we can figure out how much it's going to cost us at that time. So I have filled in all of my boxes by plugging each of these x values into my equation up here. And we can see I have 51.5, 51.9, and 51.99. So from the left, it looks like I'm getting closer and closer to the number 52. On the right, if I start on my outside, 52.5, 52.1, 52.01, so also on the right, it looks like I'm getting closer and closer to the number 52. So since these match on the same side, that means the answer that I'm going to fill in here is 52. Hence, it's going to cost us $5,200 or $5,200 to run this plant at 50% capacity. Now, this is a way to give you an idea of what the answer is supposed to be. This is a way of estimating the answer. This should never be used to figure out the exact answer. It's just an idea to give you a head start. So the only time that you should use this process to figure out what your answer is going to be is if the homework specifies to use the table such as this right here, or to give you an idea of what to move on to the next process. So now that I know my exact answer of $5,200, let's figure out the way to actually come up with that with the formalized way. And that's by using limits. So in my next video, I'm going to define limits for you, and I'm going to give you some visuals of how they actually work.